my doorknob that was infamously destroyed out here last time I flew it out here. So we've returned to the scene of the crime. This one's going up on an F-42 Enerjet motor and has an altimeter in it. And let's put it up. Four, three, two, one. and something separated. Interesting. Gotta watch what it, what it was that came off. I think it's the nose cone. Interesting, because the chute was attached to the nose cone. This uh, particular model does not like it out here. <laughs> yeah, I can see the body, the chute protector and the chute. All right, I already know what happened. I used uh no, I don't know. That's weird. The Kevlar is intact. So I'm going to expect that the loop on the nose cone broke. I'll bet that's what happened. I don't know. People keep telling me, don't use those loops. Drill a little hole. Put a, your uh, clasp into that. So this exact thing doesn't happen. I have an Apogee 30 inch chute on here bring it on nice and soft because when I was here last one of the reasons why it got destroyed when it hit was because I used the little chute that comes with pro series kits and it slammed it into the ground okay so I'll go get the nose cone rebuild this thing and fly it again so here's the nose cone and let's see here yep there's the brake and of course my altimeter is not on there. The cone actually did pretty good. We just landed in the nose there. So I'll look real quick for the altimeter, but don't have a lot of confidence that that's gonna happen. Okay, so crazy rocket story. I'm out here looking for the altimeter for this. My very first launch here, September 21, I think. I did a little teeny video. One of my first videos, that was a goblin. I loaded that thing up, packed it too tight, I'm sure. The ejection charge did not fire off the uh, nose cone. So anyway, I'm poking around. One last look for that, for that uh, altimeter, and there is that goblin. <laughs> That is unbelievable. And it is beat. It's been out here for three years. So it's, un well, this tree branch even grew over the top of it at one point that's already dead. So it's like a branch grew over and died since it's been out here. But that's amazing. I, I, it's nowhere near where I thought. I thought it ended up way up in the hills. No sign of the nose cone, but the uh, body is right there. And you know what? I'm going to leave it there. It's like a graveyard. It's in, it's buried. I don't want to disturb the uh, ghost of the goblin there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy sauce. I launched that goblin from right about here. I would have bet money. It was way off over that way in the hills, but it turns out 
and it landed right behind me. I just never heard it, never saw it. And there it landed. So right from over there to here, not even had no idea that's where it was gonna go. <laughs> Rest in peace, little goblin guy. I always wonder what that thing is up there. I'm sure it's left over from the Cold War. I'd like to see if I could use it to track my rockets. It might be some sort of a tracker or an old billboard. Burma shave. Who knows? This is a Bad Boy Rocketry Super Alpha clone going up on a D125. I built this because that one not launching one of my favorites i lost it flew away during a gale at a club launch a couple months later i went to our club storage facility and there it was somebody had found it and returned it i've been working on it to replace part of the body tube that had gotten warped from being out in the elements so in the meantime i ordered and built a bad boy clone and I used the, the decal from that kit that I didn't use because I painted it old school. So this is a brand new one going up on uh, its maiden flight here at the blowing dust area. Also on a quarter inch rail. I put quarter inch lugs on this because these things rod whip really bad on an eighth inch that comes with the kits. So. I uh, exchanged them. Here we go. Going up in five, four, three, two, one. And look at that video, it's going to be blurry as hell. Used a 12 inch thin mail chute on this. It looks all good. A little tweaky at the top of the tube as usual, even though I buffered the Kevlar a little bit. But these things, these are super office. One of the best flying little model rockets I've ever found. Just straight as an arrow. They're super performers. Even the clones. All right, that Alpha, Super Alpha on a D125 was cute. I built this thing to fly on Aerotech E motors. So it's been reinforced, built strong. This is going up on an E267W. I imagine it will uh, go pretty good. Have an altimeter in there. We'll see.
three, two, one. That did the trick. There's the event. Shoots out, lots of smoke. Three, two, one. That did the trick. Here's the event. It's swinging like a three-year-old on a swing. down. All right. Up on a big pile of yard material. This whole area basically is used by the highway department as yard, uh, road yard material. So it landed on a hill here. Let's see. We got altitude. We got 1,366 feet. All right, I have had my other one that I showed earlier. I'd gotten up to almost 1,700 feet on an E motor, but perfect. Not bad for a second flight. Everything looks great. Oh, a little dink on the fin there. It's just a little uh, character bump. All right, onward.